Finally, we can create the consistent characters inside of the mid journey and mid journey officially announced this feature and this is super simple to use and it has a huge implication. And additionally, I'm going to share some tips and tricks So, without any further ado. Let's dive in. First of all, head over to the mid journey. I'm using this on a discord server. So if you're using this on a website, you can do the same thing on a website. So first of all, you need to have a character. In my case, I'm using this image. Uh, I generated this image inside of the mid journey. Now just click on this plus icon and upload your image. Once done, again, type forward slash imagine and type in your prompt. In my case, I'm going to go with the a beautiful woman with medium hairs standing near window in a room and then type a command dash dash c r e f it stands for the character reference then copy the link of your image and paste it over here and now hit generate obviously you can also copy the link from the internet you don't need to upload the image to the discord so this is the output and now we have the same character in all of these images the location the dress is a little bit different the angles are a little bit different but we have the same character well we also have the command to control the character consistency how much consistency we want in our character and for that again type forward slash and copy your same prompt and type in dash dash c w so the cw means character weightage and it varies from 1 to 100 so in my case i'm using the 100 value so it means the character will be exactly the same and hit generate. And now if we look at that, you can see the character is now exactly the same as our input image. But you can also notice she is wearing the exact same dress and even the camera shots are from the exact same angles. Well, there are two ways to fix this issue. So again, copy your prompt and slash imagine paste your same prompt. And instead of the 100, you can type the values around like 60 or maybe 70 which one do you prefer and hit generate so now you can see there is more creativity more style in the images the character is still similar still same but there are there is more creativity in the images now we can also put our character in different environments in different lighting conditions in different locations and for that you can type forward slash just change the prompt in my case a cinematic shot of a woman in action film wearing leather jacket waist up short so we change the character clothes we change the location we also change the camera angles and again type dash dash c r e f and again paste the link of your image and now define the character weightage that is dash dash c w in my case 100 and hit generate now these are the output results and look at that this is a cinematic shot she's wearing a leather jacket we have the same character now you can notice the camera angles are different the clothing is different and even the location is different so i tried this same prompt with different weightage values so these results are from the character weightage 50 and now you can see we have more creativity in the shots she's exactly wearing the leather jacket we have some more location options in this one more creativity in the shot and this is another example with the same weightage values and if we imagine this will open up a huge window of opportunities like making the consistent characters inside of the AI filmmaking that was a big headache and not even in the filmmaking, you can use these consistent characters for any of your project. Now let's try some human characters. So I have this image of a guy. This is just a stock photo. So I will copy the link of this image. Again, type forward slash and type in your prompt. Make a cinematic shot of a man in horror movie. And again, type dash dash C R E F. Paste your link over here and define the weightage values like 100 and hit generate. Now here is the output and look at that. We can say he is not 100% matching with our input image, but you can say this is almost a same character. And the craziest thing that this guy has never imagined that he will do a horror movie in his life, but now he's doing with the help of AI. Well, you can also try this thing with some cartoon characters. Like in this case, we have a rabbit wearing a karate suit. And in the very next image, he's uh, holding a cup of coffee at the coffee shop and this is one more example he's holding a cup of coffee here so you can also try this thing with the cartoon characters and to be honest it, this will open a huge opportunity in the filmmaking industry and especially i'll be using this feature for the filmmaking the ai filmmaking because this will change the things forever so this was a short tutorial on how you guys can create consistent characters inside of mid journey i hope you learned something new and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one